I highly, highly recommend for you to set me up with someone so I can bring them here on my first date because <laughs> times are tough. Yo guys, what's going on? This is Francois Mark, your favorite American expat living in Seoul, South Korea. Right now, right, right now, I'm at this amazing secret cafe called The Hangang. My friend Conan recommended this place to me as a date spot. So he says, Francois, whenever you're ready to take a girl on the first date, just get to know them, you know, kind of impress them a little bit with the view of the Han River, the view of Seoul. You can bring them to this cafe here. So this is my first time coming to this cafe. So let's go up and take a look and see what it has to offer. It is a trek to get up here. I mean, it's not easy if you're out of shape. So make sure you get some steps in and some stretches in before you walk up the hill in order to get here. I mean, the view is well worth it. It's just, I'm already out of breath. But my friend Conan was not wrong. So over there, you can see there's Nodul Sum or Nodul Island. I usually go there to film a lot of my videos when I want to come outside on a really nice day. And the air is pretty cool today. Not bad. Oh, and over here, you can see the Yoido skyline. There's a 63, excuse me, 63 building over there. So Yoido is like the financial capital of Korea. It's like Korea's Wall Street. Check this out. I don't know if you can see over there, but there's like a park area where you can take like a bike and you can go on a walking trail. There's a guy over there walking. Okay, let's go on the inside and take a look and see what kind of drinks and desserts they offer. It looks kind of chic on the inside. There's a lot of people in there like just chilling out, having fun, taking in the view of the area. My first impressions of this place is that it's absolutely amazing. The view is crazy good. I mean, I can see all of the Han River of Norianjin around this area, and it's just, it's a nice place to be. I mean, it's very calm, it's very peaceful, it's very relaxing, and there are a lot of people out here just chilling and enjoying themselves. You can't ask for more. Also, the prices of the desserts are a little, a little expensive, but I mean, you're more than paying for it with the view. Hey man, I just made it to the top of this Hong Kong cafe, but I just found out that this cafe is not just a cafe. The whole thing is a park. So if you see behind me, there's like some stairs. And if we go down these stairs, there's another open area where there's a cool like restroom looking building and there are some flowers and stuff. So we're gonna go down there, go down the stairs and take a look and see what else is down here. I mean, this place is shaping up to be much better than I thought. Definitely, definitely the first place that you're gonna bring your first date or the place you want to bring your first date. I know I'm gonna bring a couple of my first dates here. <laughs> Oh snap, these decathlon shoes are holding up. Been having them for like, what? Since I made that last video. I don't know what when that was, maybe six months ago. Anyways, okay, decathlon. Oh, they got a, like a playground area for children. And there's a slide. I don't know if you want your children to slide down there because it's like rocks <laughs> at the end. Hey, I made it to the Sky Observatory and you can imagine how the background will look at night. Sick. Just sick. 
I mean, look at that. You can see over here there's Yoido in the background. Here there's, you can't see the lobby, but this area here, there's Yongtang. So this is a really popular uh, hangout district and district for buying electronics and stuff. If you bring your date here, you guys can sit here and this can be like a photo zone or something like that. Especially if you hire me as your photographer. Ha 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 ha. A little product placement there, a little plug. Like to be able to see like the trains going through on the bridge. I never get tired of this view. No matter how long I've been in Seoul, I just, I never get tired of the view. Super cool. Look at that. And here is the photo zone. That's so lovely. Okay, when I get my girlfriend, I'm gonna bring her here. Definitely gonna bring her here. Just gotta find a girlfriend first. <laughs> not difficult, but not easy. But definitely not difficult. <laughs> definitely, if you're looking for a nice spot to bring a first date, this will be it. The prices for the drinks aren't too expensive. Uh, they've got some nice desserts here. The view is spectacular. And after you finish conversing and eating your snacks, you can take a walk around the wonderful park. It's just magnificent here. I love it. And I highly, highly recommend for you to set me up with someone so I can bring them here on my first date because <laughs> times are tough. No, I'm just joking with you. Anyways, guys, this place is great. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you here. If you're in Seoul or if you're planning on coming to Korea, drop me a line, drop me a comment down in the comment section. Tell me when you're coming. And if you need any help uh, moving around the city or finding things to do, just let me know. I'm also on Instagram. So uh, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna go grab some dinner, head to the gym and wind down for the day. Thanks a lot for joining me. As always, stay hydrated. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Take care, peace.